Hello, my beautiful friends, my name is Maria Khoriva and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, yay, I am joined by my wonderful sister Sophia. Hi guys, so happy to be back. So yeah, she is back and today we planned to do our recent favorite workout, the ultimate ballet workout, if we can call it so. So recently we've been on vacation in Crimea and as ballet dancers we have to stay active. We love staying active and me personally, my body rests better when I'm staying active, when I'm staying fit, when I'm feeling my best and when I'm doing like this healthy lifestyle. So I've been working out as well as doing a little bit of ballet class and we've been doing this exact workout which consists of our favorite exercises on everything, on like a little bit of legs, a little bit of core, of course abs, because abs are my favorite exercises. I don't know about Mine you, Sonia. Yeah, my abs are just like... Uh, a very very good story for me for us so we are really excited to share this workout today with you and without the further ado i'm just gonna tell that there are gonna be 15 exercises it's a pretty quick one not a very challenging one but still a little bit challenging so we're gonna lose a little bit of breath during this workout but not a lot so it's like in the middle the perfect workout for us perfect. at least so hopefully you guys can enjoy it with us too today so it's gonna be 15 minutes Minutes, 50 seconds on 10 seconds rest very quick and it's gonna fly right by so without rambling too much let's get into the exercises that we are going to be doing today so v-ups single leg side hip raises left single leg jackknife crunches single leg side hip raises right Swimmers. Bridges plus leg lifts left. Plank back leg raises left. Bridges plus leg lifts right. Plank back leg raises right. Russian twists. Bicycle crunches. Back bows plus push ups. Toe touches, then plank, and a wall squat hold or just a squat hold. So pretty easy. Hopefully you can see all of the exercises now and ready to start the workout itself. So let me get my timer started here and in 10 seconds, let's start with one of my favorite ab exercises, V-Ups. So lie on your backs, on your mat, and let's get started. So just up and down. Try stretching your legs, stretching your knees, and pointing your toes while doing this move. Halfway there, keep going. Starting straight with the difficult one here. But a very useful one. Five seconds. Nice, now roll onto your left side. Elbow underneath the shoulder. Turn out your Right leg, bend your left knee, and just go up and down. Keep the turnout in your right leg here. That's a very nice one. Yeah, this is like a conditioning exercise more than anything else. So it's very good for all of your body, for the legs, for the arm, for the oblique, for stability even. and for the leg muscles, for like stability and turnout muscles, which are the most important for ballet dances. 10 seconds, keep going. Very nice, guys. 
Now let's get to single leg jackknives. Similar to the ups, but just single leg goes up. Let's go up and down. I try turning out my the leg that goes up. I try pointing it as much as possible and turning it up so that the legs remember what to, what they used to do during ballet classes and rehearsals. So, you know, two in one. I'm always trying to make it more useful than it is. Seconds. You're doing great. Keep going. How are you, Sonia? I'm doing great. Yeah, abs are my favorite. This is my favorite part, so... Nice. Okay, and we are done. Now roll over to your right side to repeat the single leg side hip raises. And get ready, and let's begin. Don't forget to turn out the leg that, it, that is up. And keep turning it out while doing the move so that you're not only doing the active board but also like the static board with your muscles. I don't know why, but this workout seemed easy when I, when I was doing it by myself <laughs> in the room and now in the studio it seems to be more challenging of course because it's for the video for the video we try doing our best all the time so and we are done guys now we are going into the swimmers so roll over onto your stomach and let's just swim so legs and arms up. I tend to lose my coordination here. <laughs> you need to lift like your right leg and your left arm. And I tend to lift like both right arm and both right leg. So yeah, sometimes that happens. So also guys, try strengthening again. Straightening your knees and pointing your toes here. So that the legs stay nice and straight. 10 seconds left. Keep going, keep swimming. Nice and controlled. Okay, very nice. Now let's go on to the single leg bridges. So lift the left leg up and go up leg down leg up and down so again turn out here if you want you can leave it turned in or you can work on the turnout as well so you decide it's a little bit of a different muscle groups here but it's up to you really this is one of my favorites favorites of this vacation and it's just not as intense as single leg bridges this is just really heating this paw as well so let's keep going squeezing your glutes every time and we are done the last one okay good now plank with back leg lifts roll over to the plank to the tall plank position and get ready we're going to be lifting the left leg so very straight leg, very beautiful leg to the back. Again, I like keeping my turn out here. So nice and controlled motion. No swinging, no throwing, just lifting very slowly. And don't forget about your neck that should be in line with your spine. Oh, well, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. yeah, thank you, thank you so much. And do not hyperextend your elbows. Keep them a little bit bent. So that the arms are getting a little bit of work here as well. So 10 seconds, guys. You're doing great. Keep going. It feels like I'm red like a tomato. 
but it seems that it's good. The blood is flowing really nice. Now, let's continue with these bridges. Now the right leg will go up. And let's begin. Again, control your muscles. Do not just swing. It's so funny when I'm doing these exercises, I'm like, oh yeah, turn out. Exactly. <laughs> turn out. Duh. <laughs> Please. Yeah. Don't forget to breathe. Do not hold your breath. Just try staying, you know, relaxed with your breath and with your upper body here and the lower body is working. That's the key. Five seconds. Give me the last one here. And relax. Very nice. Now with that plank once again. So now the right leg will be lifting. And let's go. Okay, and lift and lower. Try holding your hips like relatively square here. And yeah, turn out. Yeah. <laughs> it's so much fun doing the workout with you, Sonia. So much more fun than alone. When I'm doing it alone, it turns into like a lecture or something, lecture for myself. And with you, it's totally different energy and I'm loving it. Mm -hmm. So thank you for that. 10 thank seconds, you. guys. Keep going. And the last one here, really nice. Now we are going into the Russian twists. So sit on your tailbone, lift your legs, and let's just twist and twist. Reaching, trying to reach the floor with your elbow, but more so thinking about maintaining the balance, maintaining the stability. And again, control. You should be able to stop in any point of the movement. So, you know, you should be able to freeze at any position. So keep that in mind while doing all of these exercises. I don't know what, what about this exercise seems Russian, but <laughs> that's true. But it's what well, it's called. Five seconds. So <laughs> and we are done now the bicycle crunch the brutal one yeah. i really like it but it's very useful very good for you now let's go the bicycle bicycle <sighs> keeping the breath under control and again stretching the legs every time and twisting and twisting. <laughs> Keeping the abs engaged. Halfway there, guys, keep going. That feels nice, doesn't it? <laughs> in a certain way, in a certain way, in a very masochistic <laughs> workout junkie way. <laughs> but it's good for you, it's good for you guys, keep going. Okay, that was very good guys. Now let's go into back bows plus push-ups. Yeah. So you can do the easier modification which Sony is gonna do, or like the harder, the full weight, which I'm going to attempt attempt doing here. It's not actually that hard because you're lifting off of the floor and going back to the floor each time, which makes it easier for doing a full push-up. So you're alternating the push-up with a back bow which makes it a combination exercise. And the combination exercises are my favorites. <sighs> because they go past, faster. Yeah. Go by much quicker than just repeating the same movements all the time. So already five seconds left. 
keep going, just a few last ones. Okay, and we are done with that. Now we're gonna go on to the toe touches. So lift your legs. Oh yes, it's on this leg, wow. Flex your feet and touch your toes every time. So take your time, don't do the exercise too fast, but try keeping your abs engaged at all times. Up and down in your personal tempo. Don't rush. Make it comfortable. Now make the pain comfortable, if you know what I mean. How are you, Sonia? I'm doing great, but I can't get over this topic. Why not turn that out? <laughs> True. Well, if, if it was turned out, you could not reach your toes. So, <laughs> well, try reaching your heels, I don't know. <laughs> Turn yeah. out. No, this is not the case. Okay, and we are done. Now let's get into the normal. Elbow, oh. So, elbow Plank on your elbows, hand. yes. Plank on your forearms. Excuse me. I'm forgetting how to talk. That happens during the workouts. So, forearm plank. Yeah, and you know when uh, people are telling you to not forget to breathe, normally you're like, I forgot how to breathe normally, <laughs> yeah. so... Yeah. So guys, straight line from your ankles, from your heels to your head. And just think about something happy, about some ice cream, about some sea vacation, or about starting the new school year and meeting the friends. Five seconds left. And we are done. And now for the squat hold or the wall squat hold. So, of course, the wall hold is a little bit more useful, but I'm going to demonstrate the squat hold, the usual one. You can grab something heavy if you want to, like a dumbbell or something. Just hold, just engage your muscles, or the wall alternative is also very, very useful. I so I recommend do doing the wall yeah. version, actually. I used to do this exercise a lot when I was recovering from my knee injury, and it is very helpful. And now <laughs> I'm not in shape for this exercise, and it seems harder. But I really love this one. Let's just keep holding. <laughs> yeah, a little bit left, Sunny, keep holding. 10 seconds. You're doing great, guys. And you too, Sonia. Mm -hmm, you too. <laughs> Three, two, one. And we are done. Congratulations, guys. So let me stop my timer here. Activity completed. So activity completed. Congratulations. I think it was a pretty fun workout. Yeah, Again, repeating that for like the 10th time after the vacation felt very, very uh -huh. nice. Hopefully you guys also enjoyed working out with us today too. And please, please leave in the comments if you want some particular workouts from us in the future, from me, from me and Sonia. And leave this video a like, a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it and enjoyed working out. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one. And I love you guys so, 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 so much. And I'll see you in the next videos. Thank you so much, Sonia. Thank, Thank you. you so much, guys. Bye bye.